right, it's Adam from RC Action Australia. How's everybody out there today? Thanks for watching yet again, and if you haven't already liked and subscribed to the channel, please consider, consider doing so. Your support is very much appreciated. So, we today on the channel, we're going to look at a Kyosho. Something different again, guys. Um, if you'd watched some of my previous videos, um, you would have seen that I um, the only Kyosho car that I have is the Tomahawk. I absolutely love this car. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed the build and it really um, sort of sucks me in to get some more Kyosho kits on the channel. So hopefully you guys, um, you know, enjoy Kyosho kits and um, give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe for bringing you more content. So today's video, we're going to unbox the Scorpion, uh, the Turbo Scorpion, sorry. That's kits 30616. Um, and I found this on a local trading page around the corner from me, very, very close. I actually bought some kits off this person in the past, um, and he said he had some other things, so I took a little bit extra money, as I always do, and this happened. So not only did I get the Turbo Scorpion, I also picked up a new inbox Scorpion that he had as well. So we'll look at that one at a, uh, another date, but for today, we'll unbox the Turbo Scorpion um, and see, well, and as I said, I haven't actually opened this yet, but the Tomahawk, absolutely blown away by um, how it was presented and what was in the box and the quality of the kit. So I'm expecting the same from the Turbo Scorpion because they're a very similar car. So let's open the lid on the box and see what we've got. Okay, so let's uh, open the box here. We'll just take a little while to admire this beautiful box art. A um, little bit of a tear on the box there, but look, I cannot complain. For the price that I paid for the kit, I'm still very, very happy. Um, as you can see there, so the Tomahawk that I built, um, the only sort of difference visually is that this one has like a tub looking chassis. Um, as I said, it looks like a very, very nice Kit. I really like the white, um, the red and the blue colours um, and obviously the battery um, is underneath compared to the Tomahawk. So let's have a look at the kit. So we've got our um, instruction manual here. Um, now I, I do find that the Kyosho manuals guys, they're a little bit, um, you know, they're bit different to follow than the Tamiya kits, but um, I really enjoyed building the Tomahawk, so there's no problems at all there. Let's have a look at the body first. So, obviously we've got a polycarbonate body um, that we have to obviously paint. So, obviously we'll just use um, some Tamiya paints, no problems. We've got a driver figure up here that we'll have to paint as well. Um, that's very very simple there and obviously it's already pre-cut out I don't know whether the previous owners done that or whatnot but my Tomahawk kit um, had a pre-cut body so that could have been pre-cut from the factory I'm not sure that's our lovely um, tub chassis there so as you can see it's got some nice Kyosho lettering on it um, yeah obviously we're going to house our battery underneath and all the radio gear so that looks uh, quite nice. Uh, and again, guys, the presentation of the box is absolutely beautiful by Kyosho. We've got our wheels, um, pre-mounted wheels with the um, lettering already done, the Sand Super. And we've got our um, sort of half pre-made gearbox there. That's very uh, characteristic of Kyosho. And here's all the nice blingy parts over here, guys. So, suspension, um, lower, front lower arms, the beautiful um, rear shock towers and all the metal componentry. Um, Kyosha do a fantastic job at um, you know, their machining and the quality of the products that are in their kits. What have we got here? 
Got a catalogue of some description, Kyosho catalog, so it'll be cool to have a look at later on. Um, what have we got in this box here? So under here, that's all of our decals. Now on the Tomahawk, they were all pre-cut, so I'm guessing that on the uh, Turbo Scorpion, they're all gonna be pre-cut decals as well. Makes it a little bit easier um, when you're getting to that final stage of putting everything together. So this is, as you can see, this hasn't been opened, guys. Righto, cool. So we've got some um, tire foams. We had that on the Tomahawk, I'm pretty sure. And we've got a whole bag of um, plastic parts, as it says there. We've got the driver's head figure, the battery door, the wing, um, all sorts of stuff in there. So that looks nice, guys. I'm not going to open that just because it will be a little while until I probably build this kit, so I don't want to lose anything. So I'm just going to keep everything in its plastic at this stage. So we've got our um, main chassis rails, all the beautiful um, metal parts yet again, very similar to the um, Tomahawk. Um, what have we got here? Part D, so it's. Uh, We've got their steering links, front, yeah, all the steering componentry in that bag. And then bag E, we've got some Loctite, um, shock oil, and some more gearing options for the gearbox. So very, looks like a very similar kit to the, uh, the Tomahawk guys, um, but it's just got that slightly different um, tub chassis design. the unboxing of the uh, Kyosho Turbo Scorpion. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic looking kit. So um, as always guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget guys, we've also got that giveaway car, the 1000 subscriber giveaway car, the Demia Frog. More to come about that, but to be in the, um, to be in the draw to win that, you obviously need to be a subscriber. Um, there'll be a whole series of um, videos about that as well on how you can win it. Um, I'll give you one little tip um, that if you want to get a head start on answering some of the questions that you'll need to answer, um, start by looking at some of my um, older videos on the channel, guys, because, um, yeah, there'll be a few questions that relate to those. So if you want to get a head start, go check those out. Um, until then, guys, I'll see you on the next video, which will be... Um, either if the weather clears up, the, um, we'll get the TTO2 speed run car out and actually get some speed runs, or um, if the weather continues to be wet and miserable, um, we'll finish off the restoration on my vintage Terra Scorcher. So until then guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.